गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी लर्न अबाउट द माइक्रोक्सिन सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट एंड माइक्रोक्सिन बायोग्यास्टेन ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द माइक्रोस माइक्रोस एस बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट
protein in the gut of the larva. So here in the gut, the pores are formed and the swelling also takes place due to the pores and the the pores and the swelling. The death of the larva takes place. Okay. So here, due to the genetic engineering. Okay. So due to the development of genetic engineering, so the scientists. Okay, so here due to the development of and genetic engineering, the scientists they introduced the bacillus thuringiensis.
okay so here the author and ph is present so the the toxic protein formation takes place so it causes the pores and swelling in the gut so due to that pores and the swelling so the death of the caterpillars takes place okay so due to the development of a genetic engineering so the scientists introduced so that is bacillus thuringiensis toxic gene into the plant so okay so here one of the example that is bt cotton so in the cases of the bt cotton they are having a resistance powers to the pest and the insect another one that is fungi trichoderma so in the cases of the trichoderma so this is one of the free living fungi so it uh, it controls the plant pathogen which causes the soil borne diseases okay so here the next one that is virus so the bacillovirus okay so this bacillovirus it attacks the arthropoda and the insects okay so here the majority of the bacillovirus they are used as a biocontrol agents they are from the nucleo nucleo polyhedrovirus okay they are from the genus nucleo polyhedrovirus okay is it clear okay children so the next that is so the next topic that is microbes as bio fertilizers
okay so here the mycorrhiza it is nothing but a symbiotic association of roots of higher plants and fungi so that we call it as a mycorrhiza so you already know about this mycorrhiza also isn't it children so the mycorrhiza it is nothing but a the symbiotic association of roots of higher plant and the fungi so that we call it as a mycorrhiza okay so here the fungi so that is belongs to the genus glomus So the fungi belongs to the genus Glomus. So that forms the mycorrhiza. So what is the use of this mycorrhiza? So here I told that they are act as a biofertilizer, isn't it? So in the cases of the bacteria, so I told that they helps in the nitrogen fixation. So like that, in the cases of the mycorrhiza, they helps in the absorption of phosphorus from the soil okay so they helps in the absorption of phosphorus from the soil and they passes it to the plant so here the mycorrhiza is one of the symbiotic association so that is they are mutually benefited so the, both the fungi and the plant both are benefited so we call it as a mutualism okay so here this mycorrhiza fungi so that is having a fungi that absorbs the phosphorus from the soil and they passes into the plant okay and also they resist to the plant pathogen and also they are having the ability to tolerate the salinity and drought okay so this is the use of the mycorrhiza so the mycorrhiza they absorbs the phosphorus from the soil and that passes into the plant so here they have the resistance capacity towards the plant pathogen and also they tolerate the salinity as well as the drought okay so the next one that is cyanobacteria so you know about the cyanobacteria is a bit children so here the cyanobacteria it is nothing but a blue green algae so here the cyanobacteria they may be present in the land or terrestrial or in the water also okay they may be present in water or terrestrial habitat okay so here so they also helps in the fixation of a nitrogen okay so the helps in the fixation of the nitrogen so here the example for the cyanobacteria that is nostoc anagina ophidotoria okay so these are the examples for the cyanobacteria so the cyanobacteria is also called blue green algae so they fix the atmospheric nitrogen they present in both the land and the water they helps in the nitrogen fixation so that is nostoc anagina and ophidotoria so in the cases of the paddy field so when we see the paddy field it consists of a water isn't it so in the paddy field this cyanobacteria they helps in the increase the fertility of the soil so the fertility of the soil is increased due to the presence of the cyanobacteria in the cases of paddy field and also they enrich the organic matter in the paddy field okay so here what do you mean by organic farming so this is one marks question children what do you mean by organic farming okay so the organic farming it is nothing but that the cultivation of land the cultivation of land by using bio fertilizers without chemicals Okay, so that we call as an organic form. So this is one marks question. 
So the cultivation of plant by using biofertilizers without using the chemical. So we call it as an organic farming. Okay, once again I will report, repeat this. Microbes as biofertilizers. So here when it comes to the biofertilizers, so these are the organisms which are used to enrich the soil fertility. We call it as a biofertilizer. So which are the organisms are source of the biofertilizers? So those are bacteria, fungi and cyanobacteria. So when it comes to the bacteria, we take up these examples that is azospirilla and azotobacter. So these helps in the nitrogen fixation. So these are free living bacteria in the soil. They are present in the soil. So they help in the nitrogen fixation in the soil. Okay. So the next one bacteria that is rhizobium bacteria. So this rhizobium bacteria, so they help in the formation of the nodules in the cases of the leguminous plants. So in the leguminous plants, the roots consist of a nodules that is due to the presence of a rhizobia, isn't it? So here the nitrogen fixation takes place, okay? So when it comes to the fungi, so in the cases of the fungi, we take the example mycorrhiza. So the mycorrhiza, it is nothing but a symbiotic association of a root and a fungi. So here the fungi belongs to the genus. Clomus. So what is the use of this fungi? So this fungi, they absorb the phosphorus from the soil and then passes it to the plant. And also this mycorrhiza, they are having the capacity to resist the plant pathogen and they also tolerate the salinity and the drought. So the next one that is cyanobacteria. So the cyanobacteria is nothing but a blue green algae. Okay, so they are both present in both the terrestrial as well as the water. So here they fix the nitrogen. So some of the examples for cyanobacteria that is nostra, anamina and oscillatoria. Okay, so in the cases of the paddy field, so we can see there is a presence of a water and it is also having a time. So in those conditions, the cyanobacteria are present. So these cyanobacteria, they enrich the soil fertility. Okay, so here when it comes to the organic farming, so one of the definitions, so the organic farming is nothing but a cultivating the land by using the biofertilizers without using the chemicals, we call it as an organic farming. Is it clear children? Okay, you have, this is the end of the topic. So you have to read again and again children. So in the cases of microbes as and by uh, microbes in household product and the microbes in industrial product. So there are difficult names are present. So you have to read again and again. Recall it again and again. Okay.